Good evening and welcome to another Nantucket Sports Connection production. I am Chris Morris, your voice of Whaler Sports, alongside Sean Davis, who will provide you with all the great visuals tonight. We are back at John J. O'Neill Gymnasium's for Gymnasium for tonight's matchup between your Whalers boys varsity basketball team and the visiting Monomoy Sharks in another Cape Fen Islands league game. The Whalers are now eight and two on the season after a marquee matchup last Tuesday against undefeated Cape Cod Academy off island. Unfortunately, Cape Cod Academy pulled away in the second half for a 75-61 victory over Coach Willis Ferreira's squad. But hey, hold on Whalers fans, don't worry. They pay us a visit next week right here at John J. O'Neill for well, what likely be the game of the year for the boys hoopsters. Tonight, however, should be another test for the Whalers despite the records as Monomoy comes in at just three and eight overall and just one and five away from their home court. The Whalers, however, look to make it six in a row right here at John J. O'Neill Gymnasium. I I'm thinking maybe we're good luck for them. And uh, it is, of course, a balanced attack offensively for the Whalers, led by senior Justin Blois, who continues to fill up the scorebooks alongside backcourt partner, senior Makai Baden. The Whalers will likely have a full 10-man rotation tonight as they look to defend full court and play with pace offensively. Carlos Aguilar, just a sophomore, has played great all season long. He will be back in action tonight after a couple of games away from the starting lineup. Jaquan, Jaquan Francis and Carson Wellington also play bigger than their actual height and will find significant time. The two bigs that will patrol the paint, Jack Halleck and J.J. Bennett, both contribute for the Whalers. And rounding out the rotation, Max Beebe, Chase Brannigan, and three-point threat J.D. Henneke should also see significant minutes for Coach Ferreira and the Whalers. Monomoy comes in young and will have their hands full tonight. Uh, it was a lopsided score off island a couple weeks ago, uh, but two of their starters were not in the lineup, so we will have a much different feel for tonight's game. Uh, we'll look for seniors, uh, Monomoy will look for seniors Dan Gould, Mike Rocco, and Chandler Sharon to lead the way for the Sharks. But Coach Dan Taylor will need some freshmen to contribute as well if they are to pull off the upset. Finn Hyora and younger Rocco brother Jackson will have to fill it up for Monomoy if they are to continue some of their early season success. And we are quickly closing in on tip off here at this Cape and Islands League matchup again. You are watching the Nantucket Sports Connection, your YouTube channel for Whaler sporting, sporting events. And we have a very, very busy week. We're back over at the Gallows tomorrow night. And then we're here for a bunch of games in a row for, as the boys basketball team takes on Sandwich coming up this weekend. The Vineyard on Sunday and then next Tuesday, one week from now, Whalers fans, circle it, mark it, star it. Cape Cod Academy comes right here to John J. O'Neill and that will be a big one as uh, the uh, Cape Cod Academy comes in undefeated as of yet. And uh, we'll have to see if that Record holds, but it is going to be a big one and has league and postseason implications. So we will be ready here in a moment with player introductions and the playing of our national anthem before we get ready for tip off right here on the NSC. Gymnasium for tonight's matchup between the visiting Sharks from Monomoy High School and your Nantucket High School Whalers. Nantucket High School, the Cape and Islands League, and the MIAA ask that all in attendance practice good sportsmanship in the support of your teams and in your conduct toward the players, coaches, officials, and other spectators. Violations to our spectator code of conduct will not be tolerated and may result in dismissal from tonight's game. 
We thank you for your cooperation. And now for tonight's starting lineup, beginning with the Monomoy Sharks. Number zero, Jackson Rocco. Number four, Michael Desir. <laughs> Number five, Captain Michael Rocco. Number 12, Finn Hyora. And number 15, Dan Gould. And now for your Whalers starting lineup. Number one, Captain Justin Blois. Number two, senior Makai Baden. Number 11, Captain Carson Wellington. Number 13, Jaquan Francis. And number 55, Jack Halleck. And now, if you would please rise, remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. All right, Whalers fans, are you ready? We are about to tip off for another Cape and Islands League matchup. Monomoy getting its final preparations from Coach Dan Taylor. And we are looking forward to some great basketball here. As once again, the Whalers look to improve to nine and two on the season. They are undefeated thus far on home court. And they are averaging nearly 70 points a game. And have only been held under 60 three times. Two of those actually were wins. It's gonna be Halleck going up against Gould for the tap. And we are underway here at John J. O'Neill Gymnasium. Whalers control the tap. Quick three from Makai Baden. Good! Just like that, the Whalers strike from deep as Makai Baden, the lefty, drains it from deep. Press broken by Monomoy. Swung around the perimeter. Three-point shot up. Off the rim, no good. Tapped out. 
And Monomoy retains possession. And a pass in the corner to no one. So turnover on the first possession for Monomoy. And the Whalers will take over. Blois across the timeline into the forecourt. Looking for a screen. He drives in. Dish out to Makai Bodden. Just hit one there a second ago. Misses. Blois with the rebound. Uh, no good. And that should be Monomoy ball. Nope, tapped out by Monomoy, so it will remain Whaler's ball. Two good looks from Makai Bodden, able to hit one of them. Wellington on the drive, dish inside to Halleck. He's got a lane. No good. Good defense, nice recovery. Gould got back, was able to get a hand in his face. Halleck's usually good for those. Gould, Boyce got a hand in. Tough pass. Rocco, corner three, up, off the rim, no good. And gra grabbed finally by Makai Bodden, up to Wellington, bumped, no shot. Foul is on the floor on Dan Gould, his first, team first. We're just underway here at John J. O'Neill Gymnasium, 3-0 our score, Whalers with the ball. Drive and dished, tipped away. Desir with the steal. Oh, he loses it. So a couple, three turnovers already for Monomoy. Francis looking for a lane. Short jumper up, no good. Piora clears the boards for Monomoy. Deep three off the back rim. Halleck skies for the rebound. Baden. Sprinting down the court again. He is a lefty, goes up with it, draws the foul. So Makai Bodden aggressive with a couple of shots. He's made a three-pointer. And we'll look for two from the free throw line here. First free throw up and good. And a quick sub off the bench for the Sharks, Jackson Morneau. Replacing Desir. And second free throw, also good. Very good free throw shooter, Makai Bodden. He's got all five for the Whalers thus far. And good pressure. This will be all day. Monomoy able to break. Cross court pass. And Francis tipped it. Good ball movement from Monomoy. Three pointer up again, tipped. And back out, another three up in the air, and good! That is Michael Rocco. We talked about him in the pregame. They are going to have to account for him. He can shoot it from out there. Shot up, no good. Bond with the easy chippy, and he's got seven already. And they do break pressure, now have numbers. Tipped away, Blois got a hand up. Quickly up court, Blois has got numbers, and he will easily lay it up and in with the finger roll. 9-3 the advantage for the Whalers. Again, turnovers leading to quick points for Nantucket. That is their game. Monomoy is going to have to do something to break the press or control the pace. Finn Hyora with a nice little runner for his first deuce. 9-5. Bodden gets a pick up top. Halleck pulls it out. Looking for some room to operate. Goes up, no good. He'll grab the rebound, however. Blois now sizes up. And he'll get a pick up top by Francis. Wellington drives in, shot. Must have been blocked, but came up way short. And Monomoy looking to attack. 9-5. Good perimeter passing once again from the Sharks. Drive, shot up over Halleck. No good. Battle for the offensive board. And it'll be Monomoy's possession. A little floater from Rocco just off the rim, but Monomoy gets it back. 
Two three zone. Nice pass inside. Jaquan Francis called for the foul team first, his first as well. J.J. Bennett, the big man in the middle, off the bench to replace Halleck. And Monomoy inbounds. Hesitation, drive, and again, perimeter passing. Rocco, free throw, shot up, off the backboard, bank. Shot goes for number 12, Finn Hyura. And 9-7, Bodden a little out of control. Coach Ferreira calling for some ball movement and maybe some bodies too. Cross court the pass, Bennett. Hesitation, pass out. Bodden for three, short. But he gets his own rebound. Oh, interior pass tipped away. Bennett controls out to Blois for three, short. And tipped out of bounds, goes to Monomoy. 3-12 left here in the first quarter, 9-7. Carlos Aguilar into the game, replacing Makai Baden, who has seven already of the nine points for the Whalers. Monomoy breaking the press fairly easily here. So far, only a couple of turnovers caused by the Whalers press. Three-pointer up again and in. Jackson Morneau with a three. And quickly back the other way goes Carlos Aguilar. And he draws the foul. It'll be Aguilar. Good with the first free throw. Joe Malone off the bench, and Jackson Rocco back in the lineup for Monomoy. Second free throw, also good. And the Whalers will call timeout. We have an 11-10 game, so a nice start for the Whalers. Monomoy has battled back. We'll be back here in a moment on the NSC. Whalers up 11-10. Right, we are in a timeout here as Coach Ferreira is going to chat it up. Monomoy has battled back in here, made it a one point game, overcoming a few turnovers to begin things. And they've already hit two from deep. Rocco and Morneau both connecting from deep. They are not scared of shooting. Whaler's gonna have to adjust their zone out a little bit to cover that perimeter. The ball rotation for the Sharks has been sharp thus far. Monomoy to inbound. Rocco to the middle, off his hands, and that'll be Blois with the steal. They've got numbers up ahead. Aguilar, oh, good recovery. Michael Rocco sprinted back to break up the pass. That would have been an easy layup. It'll be Blois to inbounds for the Whalers, deep to Aguilar. And the Whalers will set it up, man to man. Oh, tough pass, Rocco breaks it up. Telegraph the pass. Oh, nice recovery, shot up and dances off the rim. Blois unable to save. Again, another 50-50 ball that the Sharks have out hustled the Whalers thus far to get. And that has led to some easy shots. Bennett double teamed and he gathers the steal. Good hands by the big man. Wellington drives to the middle and fouled. They will call the trip every single time. 
fourth team foul already on Monomoy. That foul is on Michael Rocco. They can ill afford to lose him. He is a hustle guy and an offensive threat. Jackson Morneau back in, replacing Finn Hyora. And Chase Brannigan, oh no, J.D. Henneke in for the Whalers. He is a three-point threat for sure. He gets the inbounds over to Aguilar, top of the key. Aguilar drives in, little hand check, and he draws the foul. Fifth team foul quickly here in the first quarter against the Sharks. Two more and the Whalers will be shooting one on one as they will be in the bonus. Inside to Bennett. Big man goes right up and in. J.J. Bennett with a nice pass from Justin Blois off the inbounds and the Whalers are up 13 to 10. Shot fake, cross court. Rocco launches from three again and hits. We got ourselves a tie ball game. Michael Rocco feeling it. Aguilar drives. Short runner, good. Aguilar with four here in the first quarter. Just over a minute to play. Steal attempt, no foul. Pass inside, unable to handle it. Good look inside, but Unable to handle the pass. Another turnover. 15-13. Good action here in the first quarter. Yeah, Monomoy playing that man-to-man. -man. Inside to Bennett. Double team. And swatted out of bounds. 58 seconds left. Another sub, Finn Hyora back into the game. Whalers with 17 to shoot. 58 seconds left here in the first quarter. Henneke thought about it. Back out. Whalers reset. Little motion here. Screen. Pick. Little give and go. Bennett puts up the shot. No good. Near steal, but a travel forced by Justin Blois. Sneaky fast got in there and disrupted the vision forcing the turnover. Tough getting it in, but finally out to Aguilar, who launches from way deep and hits! Eighteen thirteen, the lead. Under 30 seconds to play, and right back, Monomoy with a shot no good, and a good defense. Good hustle by Rocco. Once again, another one of those 50-50 balls going the Monomoy way. They will need all of those to stay in this one. They can hold it. Oh no, 15 seconds to shoot, so the Whalers will get it. Another 15-footer missed, and an offensive rebound. Another mid-range jumper, no good. Bennett gathers it up. And Blois with Henneke. Blois goes right up and over. And Monomoy unable to get it in in time. That'll do it for the first quarter of action here. 20 to 13, the Whalers sprint to a seven point lead. Makai Baden leads all scores with, actually he and Aguilar both have seven. Blois with four. J.J. Bennett with a deuce for the Whalers. And we'll be back with the second quarter of action. Your Whalers up 20 to 13.
We'd like to welcome you back to John J. O'Neill Gymnasium. Your Whalers up 20 to 13, action-packed first quarter. It'll be Monomoy getting the ball to begin things here in quarter number two. Michael Rocco has hit two from deep to lead the, the Sharks with six, almost a walk there. Once again, perimeter passing. We'll see if the Whalers extend their zone out a little bit as the Sharks have hit three from deep here already to stay in this game. Aguilar, good hands. And three seconds the call. Violation and another turnover for the Sharks. Whalers looking to extend the lead. Seven has been the largest lead of the game for Nantucket. Inside to Bennett. He makes a move, loses the ball. Cross court to Henneke who launches, hand in his face. Unable to get the bounce. Bennett with the rebound and draws the foul. Sixth team foul already on Monomoy. And Bennett will go to the line as we see more Whalers faithful filing in here at John Jay. First free throw up, no good. Chandler Sharon into the game for the Sharks. Second free throw rattles in and out. And it'll be Monomoy ball. Wellington chased after it, but unable to gather it. 7-15 and counting here in the second quarter. 20 to 13, drive and dish. Deflected and the Whalers quickly the other way. Henneke drives baseline, goes up with it. No foul called. And back the other way comes Monomoy, Rocco. Henneke trailing, three-pointer is up and way off the mark. Rocco, great pass inside. Easy deuce for Hyora to start things off for, and a travel. That'll be another turnover against the Whalers as J.D. Henneke tried to do the old uh, James Harden Euro step. It'll be Bennett taking a seat, Halleck in for the Whalers. Good minutes from the big guy. And a couple of bodies go down as Monomoy able to break the press and it looks like Henneke got in there with an extra aggressive hand check. Second team foul on Nantucket. And back into the game, Makai Bodden replacing Justin Blois. Leaves with four, Bodden's got seven including a three-pointer to start the game. Pass out front. In the corner, wide open, and way off the mark once again. Wellington sprints ahead. And pass into the corner. Henneke for three, good! J.D. Henneke for three. And the lead swells to eight for the Whalers. Another turnover. Whalers have numbers. Aguilar to Wellington. Foul. That's the old three on one. Practice that about a hundred times. And Wellington able to draw the foul. Whalers are now in the bonus. So they will have one on one for the rest of the second quarter, unless. The Sharks get up to 10 fouls, then it'll be two shots automatically. The double bonus. Carson Wellington at the line, looking for his first points tonight. Free throw short. Jaquan Francis replaces Carlos Aguilar. Nine man rotation thus far for both teams. Second free throw, off the air, no good. Francis reaches over, but unable to corral it. And 2-3 zone once again for the Whalers. An attacking zone, however. Rocco goes up with a floater over Halleck, gathers his own rebound. So the Sharks have been able to get some offensive rebounds and get back in this thing. Another rebound, 
and it will remain Shark Ball. Joe Malone into the game, replacing Sharon. Shot up and good. That's a three. Halleck with the drive quickly the other way. He goes up, no good. Dan Gould hit the three from the corner. And we have a 23-18 game. Tipped away by Baden, trying not to foul, but unable to do so as it'll be side out. It is Makai Baden's first foul, team's third. And again, good perimeter passing by the Sharks have led to open shots just like that. Off the rim, no good. And a foul inside, that'll be a loose ball foul. As Jaquan Francis got the rebound. And that will be free throws at the other end as the Sharks are in the bonus. Left-handed Jaquan Francis heads to the line looking for his first points in the game. As Monomoy has held tough here in the first half, 23-18. First free throw is uh, good. <laughs> I've had a couple of putts in my day that have done that around the cup. Francis up with the second re free throw and hits. Jaquan Francis puts the Whaler lead back up to seven. With seven as we entered the quarter. 25-18, nice no-look pass. Again, great passing from the Sharks. Shot up, good look, but unable to hit it. Carson Wellington finally gathers the board. Hot pass and eventually went to Henneke, who goes up with a shot, Circus. Shot by J.D. Henneke. A little windmill in the air and laid it up softly off the glass. A little smooch to put it in. Dangerous pass, and Carson Wellington called for a chippy there. Nonetheless, a foul called, fourth team foul on the Whalers. They are up 27-18, and we're gonna have a timeout on the floor as Coach Taylor calls time with 4.09 to play. 27-18, the Whalers up midway through the second quarter here on the NSC. Like to welcome you back, back to John J. O'Neill Gymnasium. Nice crowd across the, pond, the way here as uh, the student section has slowly filled in. I think they must think it's a Lakers game, getting uh, stuck in traffic. I don't know. 27 18, our score here. Whalers with again good balanced attack. Seven points from Aguilar and Baden. J.D. Henneke has five in the quarter, including a three-pointer. J.J. Bennett with a deuce. Justin Boyce with just four points, but he has been all over the scorebook with a couple of assists, a couple of steals, and a couple of forced turnovers. And Jaquan Francis with two free throws to round out the scoring for Nantucket. Sharks inbounds, quick three up and off the rim, no good. Sky and high to get it is Jaquan Francis. Love that athleticism. Bodden into the game and he's quickly up the court. And the Whalers will now reset and get a good one here. Bodden, left-handed crossover, shot up and good. Hello. Makai Bodden got some oohs and ahs from the bench on that one. A little Iverson-esque crossover and a smart play there to keep the possession as ball went off Makai Baden. Justin Blois replacing 
J.D. Henneke, as we noted, he's got five in the quarter. Largest lead of the game for the Whalers. Again, quick, quick passing for the Sharks have led to some good shots. Rocco out front, 10 to shoot. Pass inside, deflected. Francis able to get in there and disrupt. Quickly the other way. Blois makes a move. Lost the handle for a moment. And back with it, goes up against three. Halleck with the offensive board, blocked. Wellington gathers. Blois slow to get up. Wellington drives in, short jumper off the rim. No good, Halleck gathers, up and in. Stick to itiveness by the Whalers, pays off with a deuce. 31-18, largest lead of the game. Under three minutes to play here in the first half. And a shot to the face, Justin Blois. Inadvertent, but a turnover for the Sharks. As traveling was the call, I agree with coach. I don't know that that's a <laughs> traveling violation, but apparently he went down on his rump and uh, they called that the travel. Baden resets and they call him for a palm. Didn't look like it from here, but I don't have the whistle. 31-18 back to the Sharks it goes. Long pass up ahead, Rocco, and a jumper blocked by Baden. Oh, a couple of Whalers went up for it, unable to gather, and here's a three in the air, good. Jackson Rocco with his first points of the game, a three-pointer, 31-21. Wellington back to Francis, he drives. Dish inside, Blois with the easy deuce. Justin Blois with six now on the game. 33-21. And another pass deflected by Wellington. Monomoy hangs on. Shot up by Rocco off the back iron, no good. Once again, another offensive rebound. Pump fake, shot up, good. Nice looking deuce from Dan Gould, who's got five in the quarter. They're under a minute 30 to play here in the first half. Back in a zone for Monomoy. Drive, dish off Halleck's hands. Back out to Blois, he drives baseline, cut off, and stepped out. Michael Rocco forces the turnover. As we approach a minute to play again, Deep pass, oh, Blois with the block, but called for the foul. It was Gould going up for a 16-footer. And Blois looked like he had snuck in and gotten the shot blocked from behind, but whistle blown, it'll be two shots for Gould. First free throw rolls off the rim. Gould with five in the quarter. Student section making some noise here. Hits the second free throw. And Aguilar looking to come back in for the Whalers. He will replace Carson Wellington. Inside the three-point line. Looked like about a 16-footer from my vantage point, but they do not see it th that way. It will be three shots. I thought he had his foot on the line at least. But it'll be another free throw, 33-24. And Gould make, takes advantage, 33-25. Seven for Gould in the quarter. Again, 2-3 zone for the Sharks. 
Trying to slow down things for Nantucket. High pass cross court to Aguilar. He'll launch way off. Halleck able to gather and Aguilar underneath. And Halleck draws the foul. They'll shoot two with 40 seconds to go. Alica has been held scoreless thus far. He'll have two free throws. Try and extend the lead back to double digits for Nantucket. First free throw is well short. Alex, second free throw up and good. 34 25. Once again, pressure. And Max Beebe into the game, tips it away, but unable to corral it for the Whalers. Good backside defense by Beebe. Interior pass goes in, no good. Rolls off the rim. Good looking shot again. Finn Hiora had position. Whalers looking for one final shot here before the first half comes to a close. Baden going to have to put it up. Three seconds, two seconds. Aguilar, desperation, no good. So we have reached halftime here at John J. O'Neill Gymnasium. Nine point lead for the Whalers, 34 to 25. We'll take a quick break here and bring you some analysis a much more competitive game here as the Sharks overcame some early turnovers and have shot the ball well, passed the ball very well as also the press has not been a problem after those turnovers. So we'll be back here in a moment on the Nantucket Sports Connection. You are watching Whaler Basketball.
Good evening once again, Whalers Nation. I am Chris Morris, and you are watching the Nantucket Sports Connection production of Whalers Basketball. Nantucket is up 34 to 25 here at the half. Once again, very balanced scoring from the Whalers as we expected. Makai Bodden sprinted out to seven points in the first quarter. He leads all scorers with nine points. Carlos Aguilar's hit one from deep, had a good first quarter as well. He has seven. Justin Blois with six. J.D. Henneke with one deep three for five points. Jack Halleck with three and two points each from Jaquan Francis and J.J. Bennett round out the scoring for the Whalers. For Monomoy, Dan Gold kept him in the game with seven in the second quarter. Six points from Rocco. Morneau with a three-pointer. And six points from Finn Hyora. Jackson Rocco also has a three-pointer for the 25 points from Monomoy. Again, a much better effort from the Sharks and a crisp passing all first half. Really gave the Whalers some, pressure, some problems. They were able to get some good clean shots, some three-point attempts uncontested. So we'll have to see if the Whalers maybe extend out the zone a little bit, maybe go to man to man to try and curtail those open shots because you never know. Those could very easily have gone in and we could have a much, much different score. The first quarter was 20 to 13, so the Whalers were able to extend it by two points here and hold a nine point lead as we head into the second half. Again, we have a very busy week here on the NSC and the Whalers teams are in action all over the place. The boys and girls swimming teams both won this afternoon in their meet against the Vineyard. So congratulations to Coach Pignato and his group as they just continue their dominance of Cape and Islands League play. We will be over at the Gallows, over at the Nantucket Ice Rink, as Monomoy will come. Actually, it is Monomoy Mashby. The Monarchs pay us a visit tomorrow evening. DY is on the schedule Thursday night, right back here, trying to take down the boys, Hoopsters, and then Saturday afternoon, mark it on the schedule, Sandwich pays us a visit. One of the blemishes on the schedule for Coach Ferreira and the Whalers off island. They battled and Sandwich was able to overcome a 10 point deficit in the fourth quarter and ultimately win 76 71. But they got to come here and the Whalers have yet to lose right here at John Jay. So it will be a much different game. And then Sunday, the vineyard is come over, which is always a good matchup. Doesn't matter what the records are. So just a couple minutes left here before we tip it off for the second half. Monomoy hasn't even come out yet, so <laughs> they're not going to get much of a warm up. 
But again, I think if they just correct a couple of turnover mistakes early on and a couple of shots go down, this could be a very, very interesting ball game here in the second half. We are glad you are joining us from wherever you are watching Whalers Nation Sports. If you are interested in becoming a sponsor, whether it be personal or business, you can reach us at morris41.cm at gmail.com. We'll be showing that again at the end of the broadcast. You can show your support for Whalers Nation as we bring it to you free of cost here on our YouTube channel. And we've got just a few moments here before we tip it off again. Looks like the same starting five sitting here on the bench for Monomoy. And the Whalers got their original starting five as well. As we are just about to get underway for the second half, 34-25, Whalers lead by nine. And the Whalers will get the ball here to begin things in the second half. Blois gets the inbounds. 34-25. Nine-point lead for Nantucket. Man-to-man. -man. Halleck out top. He drives in. Francis over to Baden. Using some clock here, down to 10. Baden calls out a play, gets a screen. Mismatch, step back, oh baby! Makai Bond for three and a turnover. Woo, Makai Bond with a little dipsy do step back for three, yes sir. And Blois lost it off his leg as the Whalers turn it right back over to the Sharks. Picking up man to man. Rocco. Drive in, pass out, Rocco. Takes an extra step. Traveling the call, so two turnovers on two possessions for the Sharks. Not the way Coach Taylor drew it up. Again, Makai Bodden calls the play out. Wellington inside, denied, nice denial by Gould, forcing the turnover. Wellington tries to draw the charge, no call and out of bounds. Halleck called for the body. His first team first here in the second half. 37-25 the score. Good pass down to Rocco. He puts up a shot off the rim, no good. Battle for the rebound, and Blois comes away with it and sprints up, quickly weaving his way through the defense and throws it up off the backboard. A little too much juice on it. And Whalers are back. Wide open shot, however, off the rim. Jaquan Francis tips it to himself, and the Whalers off and running once again. Wellington up with a 14-footer. Way off the mark, looks like it maybe got tipped. And again, Desir. Oh, that's a double dribble. And another turnover for Monomoy. Lead is 12 for Nantucket, 
Baden against Desir. Blois against Rocco. Drives to the middle. Denied. Halleck looking for it inside. He gets it. Puts it on the floor and draws the foul and one. Jack Halleck with a strong right-handed shot. He will look for the three-point play from the free throw line. Lead extends to 14, 39-25. One of Coach Ferreira's favorite players. Hustle, hustle, hustle. And we'll just pretend we didn't see that one. Free throw no good from Halleck, 39-25, the Whalers lead. And again, great pressure from Justin Blois. Wellington up in Rocco's face. Halleck with good denial. And tipped away by Makai Bodden. He gets the steal. All the way to the hole. Pass to Blois and unable to control the pass. And wings it out of bounds. Another turnover for the Whalers. And inbounded as Rocco comes up. Tipped away by Blois. And Bodden able to save it to himself. Nifty move, but unable to corral the pass. Corral it completely, and it'll be Sharks with the ball. Good try. Whalers have extended their defensive pressure here in the second half. Drive in, Halleck. There to defend. Oh, rolls off the rim. And a deep pass, ill-advised as Rocco tur turns the other way and it goes up with a shot. Off the rim, no good. Halleck unable to get position and battling for it. Corner three up, short. Halleck controls. And he's going to go all the way. Actually gives it up to Wellington, who goes up with a shot, no good. Couple of Whalers in there, and Wellington unable to get the shot, but draws the foul. As Nantucket had a three on one, but unable to get the bucket. Two shots for Carson Wellington. First team, second team foul on Monomoy. Wellington hits the free throw, his first points of the afternoon or evening. And Makai Bodden takes a seat, replacing him, Carlos Aguilar. And Desir, replaced by Morneau for Monomoy. Second free throw, also good. And it'll be Trace Brannigan into the game, his first action of the afternoon. 41-25, largest lead of the game for Nantucket. And a timeout called by Coach Taylor and the Sharks at 435 left in the third quarter. We will take a quick hiatus here and bring you back the action. 41-25, Whalers up 16. We are back here as Coach Taylor and the Sharks call timeout. They face a 16 point deficit here now. As they have yet to score a few turnovers, a couple of missed shots from the interior. And the Whalers have sprinted out to a 7 0 lead in the quarter. 7 0 run. As Coach Ferreira has dipped into the bench a little bit, he's got Aguilar, Brannigan, Halleck, Francis, and Justin Boyce on the court. Sharks counter with the Rocco brothers. Morneau, Gould, and Hyora. Inbounded to Gould, Hyora makes a move on Halleck. Rocco, shot from the free throw line, falls off. 
Halleck controls the rebound. Quickly back, Aguilar. Brannigan drives baseline. Good pass to Halleck. He lays it up and in. Good offense there. As Trace Brannigan created an easy deuce for Jack Halleck. Under four minutes here in the third quarter. 43-25, lead has swelled to 18. Again, nice interior passing. That's gotta be steps. Good idea, but gotta dribble it. Dan Gould called for the turnover, traveling. And Aguilar sets up the offense for the Whalers. Blois, deep three, short. Aguilar battles for it. Brannigan as well, and broken up. Nice pass underneath, shot blocked by Justin Blois. Good recovery for the Whalers, and that'll be a foul. A little bit of body there. And the big guy, J.J. Bennett, into the game for Nantucket. Replacing Jack Hallett, great minutes from Jack. He's got four in the quarter, seven for the game. Forty-three twenty-five. Whalers up 18. Brannigan thought about it. No thoughts from Aguilar, he launches. Gathers the rebound. Brannigan drives baseline, that jumper is his game. Bennett battles for it and it'll be a held ball. Possession to Monomoy. Oh, possession to Nantucket. I don't think they switched the... That should be Monomoy's ball. That should be Monomoy's ball. And the score table got it right. Nice move to avoid the defense. Hyora drives in, throws it up, no good. Bennett, skies high for the rebound and another held ball. This one will be Nantucket's possession. Just under two, three minutes to play. 18 point lead for the Whalers. Lois controlling and maneuvering the offense. Jaquan Francis, power step, dribble. And that'll go out of bounds to Monomoy as it, the shot rolled just off the rim. Again, those are all good shots here, but unable to drop. Pump fake drive, Bennett, foul. Nice pump and drive by Dan Gould. As once again, the Whalers have tightened up the defense here to begin the third quarter. Monomoy has yet to score in the quarter. Free throw up, no good. Forty-three twenty-five. Second free throw up, finally a point for the Sharks, 43-26. Two thirty and counting, third quarter. Brannigan loses his feet. Couple of power dribbles in by Bennett, unable to hit the shot, however. Good looking move, with reverse layup. Again, good perimeter passing. Shot up. Contested and a nice rebound by J.J. Bennett. Blois quickly up the court. Wide open is Aguilar. He drives, little floater off the rim. Man, Whaler's crashing the boards and that's gonna be extra steps. As Francis looked to pass it, unable to do so cleanly. Whaler's really pounding the offensive boards. Looked like that may be something that Coach Ferreira noted. 43-26. Pass free throw line, drive up. Aguilar got his hands in there to break it up. Nice play from Carlos Aguilar. 21 to shoot for the Sharks. Inbounds, 
Shot up, deflected by Bennett. He got his long arms up there to break up the shot. Brannigan up with the shot, and that's going to be a block. Wow. No call. Looked like some body is. Trace Brannigan went up for the layup. It will be Whaler's ball, 23 to shoot, but nice play by Michael Rocco. Denying Brannigan as he went up. Henneke, nice pass inside to the big fella. Back out to Brannigan, who loves that baseline drive. Good catch by J.J. Bennett. Shot no good. Monomoy with the rebound. So a bit of a sloppy third quarter here. Jackson Rocco, no good. Bennett with the rebound. Aguilar quickly up, loses it momentarily. Trace Brannigan in the corner, swinging at perimeter. Into Bennett off his hands. And Brannigan gets it with a little runner. No good. We are under a minute to play here in the third quarter. Good pass inside. Unable to get the shot off as Aguilar strips. Back the other way he goes. Couple of defenders and he draws a foul. Carlos Aguilar with seven in the game, looking for eight and nine at the free throw line. 36 seconds. First free throw is good. Makai Bodden leads all scores with 12. Aguilar with eight. Make it nine. 45-26, largest lead of the game for the Whalers. Fiora with Bennett inside. Good looking move off the rim, no good. Once again, just unable to find the hoop. They do retain possession. Sharks looking for any offense from anyone. 21, left, 21 seconds left in the third quarter. Nice pass, intercepted. Bennett needs some help. Gets it over to Haneke who took steps. Ten seconds left. Going to have to be quick, whatever the Sharks are deciding to do. Pick and roll, nice move. Off the rim again, shot up. Off the rim. No good. How did they not score? Three shots from point blank range. And the Whalers hold the Sharks to one point in the quarter. 45 to 26. My goodness. I can't believe they didn't score on that. Sharon with a couple of chances as the buzzer sounded. We'll be back here with the fourth quarter. Whalers have extended the lead to 19. You are watching the NSC. And we'd like to welcome you back to John J. O'Neill Gymnasium. Whalers hold a 19 point lead here as we begin the fourth quarter play. Sharks with the ball. And they need to put it in the hoop, man. They had four looks as the quarter expired and just can't find the basket. Chris passing all afternoon and evening. 
have led to open shots. Baseline drive, denied by Bennett. Rocco almost shuffled the feet. Trouble spot here. Wide open three, no good. And an offensive rebound. Sharon with the offensive rebound. Drive to the lane, shot up and in. Nice drive by Hyora. He's got eight in the game. Aguilar. Deep shot by Haneke. No good, but he is deadly from that range. And another wide open three. Whalers caught in transition. And a Held ball, Jackson Rocco with that last three-pointer. He's got two in the game, six points for Monomoy. Quick substitution, Dan Gould into the game. So 44-31, Morneau takes a seat. Whalers inbounds, Jaquan Francis makes a quick move. And a nice mid-range jumper by Trace Brannigan. That is his game, that mid-range. His first hoop of the night, 47-31. And a nice little layup. As finally the Sharks have found the hoop. And a turnover on Nantucket. Interior pass broken up by J.J. Bennett up to Aguilar. Whalers maybe looking to use some clock here as they're up. 14, deep shot, no good. Brannigan with the miss. Here, under six minutes to play. 47-33. Drive and dish. Rocco with a short jumper, again, off the rim. Bennett with the rebound. Aguilar to Brannigan, he's got some room, stops and pops, no good. Bennett unable to get the rebound, so back the other way we go. And tipped and intercepted, Henneke. Two steps and he's hacked. No easy layups at this point as Rocco with the foul. Team fifth, that's his third. And the Sharks can ill afford to lose him. It'll be Henneke at the line shooting two. First shot up and good. So Malone into the game. And Max Beebe also into the game. And we will take a break here as Coach Taylor going to talk it over here. 525 left to go in the ball game. 47, 48, 33, excuse me. 15 point lead for the Whalers. And we are back at it here as Coach Taylor is giving his Sharks a few words of encouragement here. Whalers ready to break. Break the huddle as they hold a 15 point lead. One more free throw for J.D. Henneke. But this game is far from over with the three pointer and the way the Sharks have gotten open shots. If they start falling, this could be this lead could evaporate quickly. Whalers are going to have to keep their defensive pressure up and keep that high activity pace if they're going to close out and win their ninth game here and move to nine and two. Once again, Henneke at the line. Free throw is good. J.D. Henneke with seven in the ball game. As they, again, a balanced attack for the Whalers. Rocco, three-pointer, no good. 
That was Dan Gould pulling the trigger on it. And you got to think that's going to continue because it is a 16 point lead for the Whalers. And a foul on the floor. Sixth team foul on Monomoy. And into the game for the first time, Dwayne Martin seeing some action. Replacing Trace Brannigan. Aguilar launches, no good. 49-33, under five to play. Three-pointer up for Monomoy, and it dribbles in. Hiora with the three. He's got five in the quarter. Catch and shoot from Henneke. And the ball goes out of bounds. Will remain Whaler's ball as J.J. Bennett blasted it off the head of a Sharks player. And into Bennett as he loses control, but over to Aguilar. Inside, Beebe, cross court to Henneke. Back out front to Aguilar. Martin, he's not scared either. He can put it up. Looking inside and he will launch from deep. Good, Dwayne Martin for three. Oh, nice pass on the inside is an easy layup for Hyora. He is now the leading scorer for the Sharks. As it is 52-38, Martin once again pulls up. Good looking shot. And offensive rebound corralled by Henneke and he puts it up and in. 54-38, quickly the other way. Rocco scores and will look for another on the line. Action picking up here a little bit as Monomoy quickly down the other way. Scores, Michael Rocco has four in the quarter, make it five, and he's got 11 in the game. Another quick timeout for the Sharks as they have cut it to 13. They're hanging around here at the John J. O'Neill Gymnasium. 54-41, 3.30 to play. We'll be back here on the NSC. We have three minutes and 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter, 54-41. The Whalers with a 13-point lead. They are also in the bonus. If it comes down to some free throws, just three team fouls on the Whalers. J.D. Henneke with a good quarter. He's got four and in the quarter, nine for the game. But it has been a nice little comeback for the Sharks. Led by Finn Hyora. he's got seven in the quarter. Michael Rocco with five in the quarter. And it's been a 15 to six run here to begin in the fourth quarter. But the Whalers still hold a 13 point lead. Wayne Martin just hit a three pointer earlier in a bit of trouble and he draws a foul from Rocco and that'll be free throws for Martin. Four fouls on Rocco as well but I got a hunch he will stay in there for Coach Taylor. It's one on one, gentlemen. That should be one on one. There we go. Again, Dwayne Martin shooting one on one. Blois set to come in. Shot off the rim, no good. BB battles for it, but unable to corral it. And Monomoy heads the other way quickly. Oh, pass. Unable to be handled. They can ill afford, Ill afford any more turnovers. Joe Malone wasn't looking for it. 
And it'll be J.D. Henneke replaced by Justin Blois. Again, a great game from Henneke. He has nine. 54-41 as we approach three minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Martin inside, nice interior passing. Max Beebe with a short shot, and he gets into the scorebooks. And great pressure out front by Dwayne Martin. Three-pointer is up, and good. A little step into it. Dan Gould for three. Beebe out to Blois. Good passing. Martin with a rainbow pass cross court. Beebe makes a drive and move and puts it up and in. Just over two minutes left here. Whalers on their way up 14, on their way to a nine and two record. Nice little pump fake and shot from Gould. He's got five here in the last minute. 58-46. Blois, good passing, wide open. Carlos Aguilar looking for the exclamation point. He misses everything. Beebe, cross court to Aguilar. Under five to shoot. J.J. Bennett, up no good. Martin tries to throw it up. Beebe with an acrobatic shot to try and beat the buzzer. Unable to do so, shot clock violation. <laughs> good awareness though by Max Beebe with the circus shot. And it'll be J.J. Bennett taking a seat probably for his last hurrah here this evening as the Whalers up 12 with just over a minute to play. Sharks got to do something quick here. Rocco got to think about it. Gould has pulled the trigger on a few. Pass out to Jackson, drives, shot up, rolls in and out. That has been the theme for tonight's game for the Sharks. And we are under a minute to play here. John J. O'Neill Gymnasium Whalers on their way to their ninth victory, up 12. Halleck drives baseline, up against two defenders, gathers his own rebound, puts it up and in. Jack Halleck with a power move. And a three is up from Gould, off the mark. Halleck gathers the rebound. Blois across the timeline, up ahead into the forecourt. Whalers can just about dribble it out here, and they are forced to foul. And that'll do it for Mr. Rocco. That's his fifth foul. Desir will replace him. But just 17 seconds left to play. A couple of free throws for Aguilar. First one up and in. Carlos with 10 points in double digits once again. Second free throw also good. 62-46. Tipped away and one more turnover as the Whalers can dribble it out here as they will raise their record to nine and two on the season. Another league win for the Whalers. But a much better showing from the Sharks as they were able to put a nice run in the fourth quarter and make it a ball game, but uh, ultimately the Whalers with the win, 62 to 46. Once again, we always thank you here on the Nantucket Sports Connection for joining us.
Our next broadcast will be tomorrow night. We jump over to the gallows at the Nantucket ice rink. Monomoy will come across the pond as the puck will drop at 515. The boys will look for their fifth win on the season. Coach Corbett and the Whalers skated to a tie last week in Barnstable. So they will look to even up their record. They have a couple of ties on the season. Thursday night, we're right back here as DY makes the trip over for another league game. And then again, as we mentioned earlier, Saturday is sandwich. Great game earlier this season. And the Vineyard comes to the Rock on Sunday as we will be here once again, bringing you all the Whalers action on the Nantucket Sports Connection. For Sean Davis, I am Chris Morris. As always, Whaler Nation, we're happy to be bringing you live action of Nantucket Whaler Sports. Final score once again, 62-46. We'll see you tomorrow, Whalers Nation. Have a great evening.